Thank you. Thank you so very much. I am so grateful to be here. So wordless creation stories, it's a little bit tricky to really kind of explain wordlessness. It's about the time before words. And this here, this is my didgeridoo. I've been playing it since 1991. It's when I went to Australia while I was working for Greenpeace and I spent several weeks in the southwest wilderness of Tasmania and that's where I learned how to play. So I've been playing ever since. It's profoundly impacted my life. I hope it does for you tonight. So what I'm really hoping is to provide the context for all of you to have your own dream time experience. This is about being present in the moment of now. It's a very mysterious and uh, sometimes elusive place. So what I'd really like is for you all to try to almost like think of yourself like breathonauts instead of astronauts, and you're going to explore inner space instead of outer space. Yeah. So <laughs> try to sit right on the edge of your seat, maybe. Square up your shoulders. Put your right hand over your navel, left hand kind of over your heart. And while I'm playing this, I want you to try your very, very best to be nothing but the breath. To allow yourself to just float on uh, a sound wave like you would float on an ocean wave. And I am going to try my very hardest to take you into the place where turtles go while they dream. See turtles right now, they've taken this deep breath all around here. You don't see turtles swimming or crawling around. And they go geographically, they're going to stay right where their, you know, their shell is. And where, but spiritually, and turtles do have spirits. They go to the very, very ancient turtle dreaming grounds. And uh, hopefully, if I do my job well, you have an experience.
Well, thank you so very much. So, now the didgeridoo is an alternative treatment for snoring and sleep apnea. If you've never read that or heard that, that was published in the British Medical Journal. It's true. An alternative therapeutic treatment just from blowing into a stick that's been hollowed out. This one traditionally has been hollowed out by termites. Now, do you necessarily need a termite eaten stick? No, you don't. No. And so I brought along another little one. This is not so traditional. It's just plumber's pipe. It's got some duct tape wrapped around it just to be very urban. You know, it's like a... <laughs> Why not? So the whole idea of this is that it's going to work on the same thing, right? It's like my lips are vibrating and I'm blowing through it. But as it turns out, if you snore, you are 67% more likely to have a stroke and 34% more likely to have a heart attack. Those are huge numbers. Those are really, really big numbers. And this is a very modern adaptation on a very primitive and ancient piece of technology. And that's what this experience is all about. And that's why this whole idea is going to change the world, is because if everybody was didgeridooing, let me tell you, there'd be less heart attacks, there'd be less strokes, and guess what? If you snore, you have less sex. This is going to improve your sex life, just blowing in this. That's amazing, okay? This is, you're going to only spend two dollars on this, you're going to get better sex and better health. Now, you also get mindfulness and meditation, which, you know, has improved the, the, you know, like the concentration of the gray matter in the areas of the brain where you'd like denser gray matter. And it's also removed gray matter in the amygdala, the, 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 the part that's responsible for fight or flight. Meditation and mindfulness moves that away. It's true. All right. So I'm talking about just something like this, and you can play the same things. Now, if, if you really want to you know, go wacky and you want to try singing through it, you can do that. Just leave your mouth right on it and just constantly breathe in through your nose. And so... So you can make lots of noise. Oh, thank you. So you can make lots of great sounds. You can have a lot of fun. And it's good for all those things. Now, other studies found that 79% of women are willing to elbow, kick, otherwise horribly maim, their partners for snoring in their own bed. Okay? This is really, it's like, so people are resorting to physical violence because you're snoring. Okay? This is something we have to address. It's really just true. 23% of those women said that they'd rather listen to possums mating than you <laughs> snore. <laughs> okay, so now let's just go over this. So this is gonna give you, again, less heart attacks, less, less strokes, better sex, and it's not gonna sound like possums mating in your house. If you can just take the time to just breathe and to be. Now, that exercise that I, you know, kind of just provided in a, an experience in the dream time, that is yours. You know, that, that, is, that is why I'm here, and it is also part of my gift, is, is just to provide these experiences into the dream time. This is the mystery. This is not about the explainable, the understandable. This is about you connecting and being in the moment of now. And again, that's not a very easy moment to be in. And uh, so my time with here was very brief, but I hope you got something out of it. And please remember, play the didgeridoo, breathe, improve your health, improve your life, improve your breathing. All those benefits are going to come right to you as soon as you start. Thank you so very much. <laughs>